Welcome back to Vice Grip Lodge. Yes, Rusty Acres is no more. Well, I shouldn't say that, it still exists. It's just been moved. We now have a prepped building pad. Yes, we're actually putting up another building. This has been a long time coming. All of you guys have seen the struggles with storage, having some pretty nice vehicles outside. We've also got a lot of other equipment and tractors and things like that that should be inside. So we finally said we're going to go ahead and pull the trigger. We did have to sell quite a bit of vehicles and do some things to make this happen, but we're looking forward to getting this done before it's the dead of winter. We're in a race though. It was 21 degrees this morning. It's supposed to be freezing again tomorrow morning, but let's go ahead and dig in. I'm going to walk you guys around, kind of show you the plan and what we're up to right now. Now I've been on the road, well pretty much a month straight, so unfortunately I missed all the dirt work side of this. That was one of our biggest challenges, and then also I've got a uh, easement over here, and we've got property access as well in the back. So there were a lot of things to look at when we started building out this site. And a lot of my property is on hillsides, so you know water runoff or erosion or intrusion. Obviously you guys know my other shop that's been a big issue so we have to take all that into consideration and we came up with a plan to put it right here I'm actually standing on about 10 feet of fill to level this out I'll back up and kind of show you guys we're not done yet we're gonna get the building up first and then we're gonna come in and grade the rest of this there we go I'm now standing what used to be the bottom of rusty acres doesn't really do it justice, but there's a lot of dirt and material back here. Plus you can see this cut in, let's go talk about that. So I've got an easement or access over here, basically where that truck and trailer is. That goes up to a cattle gate on this side. And then there's a big pond. You can actually see this, that's a man-made berm. There's a pond behind there. And when it rains heavy, that spills over and comes down here. So what we're doing this time is back here, we're gonna be building a big concrete hip wall. And the concrete hip wall is gonna be part of the wall itself, obviously, it's multifunctional. This is the end of the building here. And that's gonna be higher than grade with solid concrete. Then they're gonna build off of that. And then we're gonna bring the dirt in here and build a swale, basically up against the building so that water will come down and then run off. And we think that's gonna work a lot better. That'll leave us room yet to come back around the building. We could put some stuff behind here yet. And then we're gonna have plenty of room to get back through the skate still off the side over here. Now this building is a lot smaller than the other building. It's going to be 48 by 84, have three overhead doors, two man doors, and then just, we call them lean-tos up in the Midwest. They call them open sheds down here, but it's going to have an open shed off of this side so we can park more cars and stuff under there. No power or electricity, no plumbing, no HVAC, nothing fancy, bare bones barn. And I say barn because it's gonna be a monitor style looking barn. We decided to, instead of just building a plain Jane building, go ahead and do a monitor style. And then I designed in some windows for lighting on top of that as well. So following on the ground here, this will be the end of the shed. This is the corner of the building. Kind of hard to see, but there's an orange line there. And then that comes down here. And then this will run up right here. So as you can see, compared to the other building, it's, it's pretty small. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is still a big building. We're gonna put the RV in the center and then stack equipment and cars on the sides. And then like I say, this kind of lean-to shed area 
we could pull vehicles in, at least get the hoods and the roofs under cover, try to keep the moisture out of them and stuff like that. And then I've got random equipment, you know, drags and hay equipment, and cedars and spreaders and sprayers and yard machines and all that can go in here. And then we'll have plenty of room to, to work out and get out of here. All this gravel here is uh, going to be used for the farms or building up the uh, actual grade of the concrete. And then we've got some old, I don't know, road material or something they're using as a base that's hidden underneath all of this. It's broken up concrete, big rocks, asphalt, and then they've packed all this down again to build that grade up. So. They're gonna be forming today. I'll try to keep you guys updated as much as possible. It's tough sometimes with how much I travel, but we'll let these guys get at it. Update you as, uh, as soon as it changes. Getting the footings dug. It's looking good. Here on the other side, I'll show you some of this uh, rock and stuff we put down. Actually, it's crushed concrete. Yeah, that's what this stuff is. Looking good. Got her down to the corner. These guys are probably gonna be here for three or four days. Well, another busy day done. These guys are, they're moving quick. It looks like this is all finished well i know it is we're actually going to be pouring 6 30 tomorrow morning so now you can get a better look at what's going on here we're going to have three doors one little 10 footer here and uh i can't remember if it's a 12 or a 14 here and then another 10 so we're going to be you know different than the other building where the doors would be as an example all on this side but i can fit you know two three cars in stuff like that we'll get the old rv down the center and uh be exiting out this way we got an awful lot of dirt work to do yet but we'll wait until we get this poured to figure that out now this the reason this is deeper well obviously this is a footing right all tied in with rebar and then this is going to be deeper here as well because i believe every 12 feet there's gonna be a post or a beam for the center section. And then these are gonna be kind of sheds. They call them sheds off to the side. And then there'll be several over here actually. So you got, this is the, the actual wall of the building. And then this is the open shed right here, which is also gonna be concrete. We're gonna brush this. That'll be a smooth finish and then you know they're doing the same out here so we're gonna have nice thick concrete and then plenty of room to maneuver equipment and tractors and cars or whatever we want to do off the side and then this is that back wall so we'll have concrete all the way down and this is going to protect our building and keep this thing from flooding looks great I'm surprised how fast these guys went today but I think we're gonna have plenty enough room to do some dirt work back here and then like I say also we can still hide some stuff back in here pretty easily I think kids are having fun checking it out so I guess we're gonna call it a day sun's going down see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning We'll uh, be pouring mud, or should I say liquid gold, basically. Moses, sandals concrete is it's getting out of hand. See you in the morning. Well, beautiful good morning from Tennessee. It is brisk again this morning. I've seen some of the crew just starting to roll in. I'm going to go grab the side-by-side. -side. It's got some of those Alien light bars. Light this place up a little bit, but... We should be good to see here in about 20, 30 minutes. And I think the trucks are supposed to be right behind that. It's going to go pretty quick this morning. This is always exciting after you get over the pain and the 
checkbook, but this is just one of those things that's got to be done. The faster we can get this concrete down, the sooner we can start putting sticks up. Here comes the concrete pump. He was a little nervous about this incline here with the back dragging. Oh, oh, just barely touched. Well, that ought to get the job done. So now all the other trucks are going to come in and they'll dump right in here. And then he's going to get everything pumped back up. Barrier is down. Uh, the pump's getting set up right now. He's got these big booms. Or feet. Support. Heimers that are going out and then uh, the concrete GC is just doing a little bit of cleanup for the pump and also we're gonna make this not such a hump temporarily we need more of a slope so those trucks can get in here and dump easier but everything's looking good thankfully it's not windy today Yeah, this will work much better. More of a direct angle than kind of a hump. So these trucks, they got the front offloader. They're just going to dump right in that bin. He'll pump it up. Make quick work of this thing. I just asked the operator of the pump what kind of reach he can give this thing. And uh, he said, this is a small truck, or a smaller one. This is 110 feet that'll reach. And uh, he said, they got, they got one on order that'll, I don't know, do another 50, 60 feet or something like that. But it's pretty incredible how much easier it makes it rather than trying to pour in off the slides and around the whole perimeter. It should go pretty quick. We're doing the wall on a different pour. You can see I'm putting the seal in right now, or a barrier. Just the slab will get poured. And then I got some other concrete work going on on the property. And that same truck will come back and set up the forms for that back wall. But the rebar is tied in right now to the footing. All of that's done, ready to go. This fella is just checking the grade on everything, double checking. Make sure nothing has settled or moved. And uh, we should start seeing a line of concrete trucks here any minute. Here comes some concrete, which means more cars are leaving. Saying goodbye to the Packard, unfortunately. Love that car, but uh, Fat Rats, they came and picked it up. Merlin's old school garage. They're going to take it for a trip back home. And uh, we got a charger and did a couple things. I think they're going to do just fine. See you guys. Good luck. Daily that car for a long time, so hopefully it does them good. They also left me a gift. I don't quite know how to explain that yet, but we'll get to it someday. Anyway, let's go up. we got to pour some concrete. So this is straight concrete, 4,000 PSI with a little bit of calcium. Um, I had some bad luck using a different company. And, uh, they put everything in it but concrete, I'll tell you that much. So we switched companies. Just saw the paperwork here, wanted to verify quick before we pour all this in. This is going to go pretty quick. We should get a pretty nice finish. And again, it's going to be a smooth finish on the inside, then we'll broom where this outside open shed is going to be. Second truck's in. Going to have 10 or 11 trucks today. We're about 110 yards uh, total concrete. Maybe a little bit more. That footer back there is two by two. 
Well, we'll see. Got the divorce maker running back there. Gonna start moving quick here pretty soon. Got trucks stacked up. They're dropping rebar in here. Just like that, we've got concrete. We're already knocking some of the forms out. It's looking good. We were short, looks like. I don't know if they're gonna... I don't know what the plan is here. They might saw cut that and then bore in a little more later. Here's our doors. Yeah, it's got a little slant to her. Water runoff. Garage door lip will be back here, you know. All right, we did get another truck. They got that finished out. Yeah, and uh, he's back here brooming right now. That's all that process is, it's just Leaving a brush mark. It's gonna be a little bit of a lip here. That's for water. See you there. It's looking great. Concrete, done. Well, that's gonna do it for part one of the barn build. Obviously, there is a tremendous amount of work that still has to be done. I will do my very best with my schedule to keep you guys up to date. Nonetheless, if we miss something, I'll catch you up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, hey, I'd sure appreciate that. Click that, is it a bell or something? I don't know how it works. Just start clicking everything, I guess. Thanks guys, appreciate you very, very much. And side note, none of this is possible without you guys. So sincerely, thank you so much.